And we are just so excited to see you here today. It is just amazing to think that this is the last week of our Colours programme. Isn't that amazing? We've gone through all the different colours in the rainbow and we have just been absolutely thrilled to see the ways in which you are joining in with our project. It has just been brilliant. Thank you so much. Keep sharing your pictures. Keep sharing your videos. It's been amazing to see children reading the book that we gave out this term and so much more. Give us a wave if you're watching. Um, today's a really great day for us. And it is our green week, isn't it? We're wearing green and we are going to be having a go at making a green tea pod. Here is our instructions that's in our booklet and it says a green tea pod. And the quality characteristic we're thinking about today is self-control. And we've put in this thing about I will think before I act self-control lots of us don't we at times we just react to the things this week i've had such issues with the internet with the wi-fi and also my mobile phone that sometimes oh i've just got so frustrated i could have done things but i've had to think before i act for my sanity and for the sanity of my family morning everybody lovely to see lots of you watching today and in a moment, we are going to make a, put some peas in a green pea pod. And it reads, this is what we've got in our um, craft handbook. It says, taking green peas out of pods takes time, concentration and self-control. Let's take time to think about our words and actions. It's something in Daniel's then we have to do. Be very careful of the things that we do and the things that we say and Sometimes, let's be fair, we get it wrong. But a lot of the times we get it right and we want to not ignore when we get it wrong. We want to make things right again, but also we want to learn and to develop. And that's what we're doing with our children. So without further ado, we are going to make a green pea pod. So let's come down here and you see, and here is the poem. Hopefully you can see that. Let me have a look. You can see it. There's five little peas in a pea pod press. Here, here is the pea pod. Now you will have a pea pod in your pack. It's quite big. And one of the wonderful things about Daniel's Den is that you can, um, in a moment, we're going to do some sensory play with this. So we like to do things with paper sometimes. So there's the pea pod, look. We've got our glue stick. And here are our peas. I'll move that poem away for now. Let's, so let's have a go at counting them. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Now in your pack, you will have an assortment of peas and you can do this with your children. You can get them counting how many peas and then sticking. Now in our Zoom session yesterday, um, Oh, Betty said, Robbie, hi, Joe. Annie was sharing about Betty using her scissors and how um, Annie had been really surprised how well Betty could use the scissors. And the scissors in our craft pack are brilliant because they're child size, they're child friendly, and they also cut. A lot of children's scissors are very disappointed because they don't cut. But we always say there's a bit of a health warning with our scissors. They do cut, so make sure your child never has the scissors unsupervised because we don't want any hair cuts. I know hairdressers are closed at the moment, but we don't want any hair being cut. But gluing, now I'm gluing these. It doesn't matter if your child glues them elsewhere, but you can actually, it's a really great skill for children to have a go at doing this. But look, here are our five peas. Can you see in our pea pod? One, two, three four, five, so much you can talk about with this, about which one's the biggest, which one's big, which one's little, and counting the big ones and the bright green and the light green. So many, such language from this. And here, look, here is the poem. We can put some glue on the back of the pea pod like this and stick it on the poem. 
Now, I have got boxes of this sort of thing um, that my children did when they were little. But I would write the date on it. I can write it on the back or the front. And you could stick this on the fridge. It's a beautiful picture. Can you see it there? Like that. And it's lovely to have words and pictures stuck up either on the fridge or on a door. We really encourage people to get some glue tack or sellotape and stick things to the door. But this little poem, we're going to have a go at acting it out now with our hands. OK, so can you can you so there's the poem and funny bunny, he's listening, but he has to watch me because he hasn't really got fingers. Can you see his hands? He hasn't really got fingers like me, but you may have fingers. So we're going to do the poem now and then we're going to do some sensory play, which is exciting. So are we ready? So it goes. So let's count our peas. One, two, three four five can you do that again one two oh, one two three four five now put them into a little ball and put them in the pea pod and this is, this is how it goes five little peas in the pea pod press one grew two grew and so did all the rest they grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Can you do that popping sound? It's a fun sound, isn't it? Shall we do that again? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze them up into the pea pod. Five little peas in the pea pod press. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Oh, funny buddy loves that sound. It's quite tricky. And little ones find that quite hard to do. But pea pods are great fun. And oftentimes in our supermarkets, we can actually buy peas in pea pods. They're a little bit more expensive, so don't feel under any pressure to buy them. But you know, frozen peas, tin peas, all types of peas, there's so many types of peas. And this week it's green, so we're looking at green peas. I went looking in my freezer, and let me show you what I found. Can you see? I have found some frozen peas. Now, this is out of mixed peas, of course. I just somehow or other wasn't organised enough. And I think my children love peas, so I'm always buying peas. But I didn't have a pack of peas in my freezer. But look, there's some lovely frozen peas. And actually, it's lovely. I know we cook these for our children. But, you know, when they're frozen, it's quite fun for our children to play with them, put them in their mouths. I think most children love peas, don't they? Because they're quite sweet. But, you know, you can have lots of fun. So you could buy some pea pods or you could flick them around the wall like that. I know we say not to play with food with our children, but this is a fun thing to do. And then we can do counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's lots of rolling games. So much you can do with peas. And I think these have defrosted a little bit because I've been waiting for the film to start. But you can have fun with peas. So it's our green week and we couldn't have a green week without our little friend. Funny Bunny is one of his favourite friends. I wonder if you can guess who it is. Lots of songs about his little friend. Yes, it's Green Frog. Can you see Green Frog? He's smiling. Funny Bunny is so happy. This frog loves hopping and jumping. He's not a speckled frog, but we're going to sing Five Little Speckled Frogs. Are you ready? So I'm going to put our little the frog down and he's going to be watching and I'm going to use my fingers and these two are sat in front of me watching. So we're going to have our five little speckled frogs. Let's let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. 
One jumps into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are only four speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious frogs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three speckled frogs. Oh, sorry. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious frogs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are only two speckled frogs. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious frogs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is only one speckled frog. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no more speckled frogs. That's it, because there are so many in the pool, aren't they? And did you hear that bit in the song where it's about eating some most delicious bugs? I have another frog here, and look, it has a little frog in its mouth. Can you see that? Wow, I wonder how many frogs you can find in your house today. I wonder if you can hop up and down like a frog. Lots of lovely activities that you can do in our green week. We're now going to sing uh, one of our all-time favourites, um, the Green Frog song. Are you ready? Mm -mm, said the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, said the little green frog. Mm -mm, said the little green frog one day. So we all went. Mm -mm, la, 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 la. But we know the frogs go. La 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 la. La 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 la. Tra la 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 la, we know the frogs go. Tra la 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 la, they don't go. I hope Ruben, I hope Betty, and everybody else who's watching was joining in with that. A green week, all about self control. It's going to be our last week for Craft Pack One. And hopefully, you've received your craft pack like this oh oh there's a little clue there look so it's quite interesting isn't it it's green what here's funny bunny's craft pack look he's got his name on it can you see there just so that i don't give away his craft pack but this craft pack is feeling heavy because funny bunny is the first person to get craft pack two and today at latimer and also the yellow we are going to be giving out the second craft pack. And in that craft pack, which is here, there, I've even written Bunny Bunny's name on it, look, craft pack two. These are going to be available from today onwards. So we're going to be using the last week, last, last pack this coming week. And then next Saturday, I'm going to show you what's in this pack. And there are seven crafts in there and it's all to take us over Christmas and New Year. So if you haven't got your pack, try and come along and collect it if you can. All the details are on our website. They're on our social media. I'll be making sure they're on our website after this. Um, but drop us a message. Send the office at danielsden.org.uk. And we want these to go out as many people as possible. We have made extra ones. There's the Christmas story in there. So if you've got friends who would like one, message us, get in touch, and we will get one to you. The best way to do that is to come and collect it. That's the easiest way for us. And don't forget all those people who say, well, I've got all this stuff at home. You may have it. But this is all, all very similar so we can join in it together. So please spread the word. I hope you have a fantastic week. 
We may see some of you later when we're giving out these packs. But in the meantime, have a go with your five little peas. And hopefully today I shall be having peas for my dinner at some point. So funny bunny and I, we're so pleased to see you. And it's time to say bye. <laughs>